Hello, Mr. Zonker here. This video is on writing equations of lines given slope and points. You might recall the equation of a line we've been using is the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b, where the m represents the slope and the b represents the y-intercept. <sighs> Green tea. Good for the soul, good for linear equations. Let's go. So when we're given a slope and a point of a line, we want to substitute in the slope m and the point x, y into y equals mx plus b. From there, we can solve for the y-intercept b. And finally, using the slope and the y-intercept, write our equation. Let's try an example. Write the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 5 and has a slope of 2. Now our equation, uh, our point gives us a value for x and y, and our slope gives us a value for m. So we can take that equation, y equals mx plus b, and substitute in what we know. So our y value is going to be 5 equals our m, which is 2, times x, that x coordinate is 3, plus b. And if we use our solving steps from there, we'll get 5 equals 2 times 3 is 6 plus b. Subtract 6 from both sides, and we'll get a value of b equals negative 1. Now that we know the slope and the y-intercept, that's all we need for our equation. We can finish it off by saying y equals our m, which is 2x, plus our b, in this case, is negative 1, so I'll put minus 1. One and we've got our equation. Now I know what you're thinking. What if we only have two points, Mr. Zonker? Can we still find the equation of a line? Yes, we can. When you have two points, use the points to find your slope. That's our change in y over our change in x. That y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we could substitute in the slope in either point, it doesn't matter which one, into y equals plus mx plus b. And it's the same process as the last example. Solve for the y-intercept b and write the equation. Let's look at another example. Write the equation of a line that passes through 6, 4 and 2, 3. So first, I know that my slope is equal to my change in y over my change in x. So if I calculate the slope, just like we've been doing, I'm going to do 4 minus 3, that's my change in y, and 6 minus 3. 2, my change in x. Again, if you did 3 minus 4 and 2 minus 6, same result. That's going to give us a slope of 1 fourth. Perfect. Now that we have a slope, it's just like the last example we did. We can choose either of these points, either 6, 4, or 2, 3. I'm going to go for the 2, 3 example. So we'll take that y equals mx plus b, and we're going to plug in our y value of 3 equals our m, that's the slope that we found, 1 fourth times x, our x coordinate that goes with the point we chose is 2 plus b. Solving from there, we'll get 3 equals 1 fourth times 2 is 2 fourths or 1 half plus b. And if we subtract 1 half from both sides, we're going to end up getting 5 halves equals our y-intercept. Perfect. Now we've got our slope of 1 fourth. We've got our y-intercept of 5 halves. Finally, I can write my equation y equals 1 fourth x plus 5 halves. And that's my equation. And lastly, let's look at some horizontal and vertical line examples. Number one, line has a slope of zero and passes through the point three, two. So we've got a slope of zero. We know that's a horizontal line. The y coordinate is two, and we know horizontal lines have that y equals format. This equation is going to be y equals. Two. And if we visualize that on our graph, that would just be going through the point 3, 2 with that slope of 0, meaning a 
horizontal line through y equals 2. Number 2, a line that passes through negative 1, negative 2, and negative 1, negative 1. Now if we went to find our slope, we know that that equals our change in y. In this case, that would be 1 minus negative 2 over our change in x, which would be negative 1 minus negative 1. When I subtract a negative, that's going to be the same as 1 plus 2, so that would be 3 over negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. Uh-oh! We know we don't like to divide by 0 in math. It doesn't make much sense. Uh, so in this case, we have an undefined slope, and we know that's a vertical line. Since both of our x-coordinates are negative 1, we know this is going to have an equation of x equals negative 1. If we were visualizing this on our graph, we know that that point, uh, our two points we have are negative 1, negative 2, and negative 1, 1, and we can see that that is a vertical line through that x value of negative 1. Okay, with that said, I hope this video was helpful. <coughs> <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay.